I'm going to briefly go over how to add a lower third to your video. Now in most respects it's the same as adding any other media. Uh, the trick is how you put things together. So if you have everything sized out appropriately, when you create the file it makes it much easier. Uh, if it's not, then you have to do a little bit of um, adjusting within Final Cut. So here I have a basic video clip and uh, the color is a little bit off here. Uh, you can always analyze and balance color. So I did a, uh, I analyzed the color on import and I could do a basic balance color here and that makes a world of difference. It gets rid of that little um, yellowish tinge that was on the clip and now it looks much more neutral. I can also go in and add the color board and that allows me to do some custom adjustments. Now the yellow tinge is gone, which is perfect. It looks a little flat to me, so I might um, actually just punch up the saturation a little bit and maybe go in and adjust the exposure, making the, the blacks slightly darker and the whites slightly brighter will increase the contrast in the image. So the contrast is a result of the number of steps between black and white. So this looks far more neutral. Uh, I'm going to keep it that way. But what I want to do now is just go in and go over the lower thirds. So I have two examples here. Uh, one, uh, you can see just by looking at it in the preview window, it's been done to the canvas size has, is the size of the lower third. The other one I have here, the canvas size is the size of a full frame of video and we're working with 1920 by 1080. So if I add this one, and here let's just um, go in and I, I'm going to use the buttons on this. I don't usually do that. Um, you can also use the um, key commands. So to add it to a connected storyline, which is what you want to do with the lower third, I would use Q. And you can see that's added it on another layer above. And if I look at it here, it's good to go as is. I'm going to turn on my title and action safe. And yes, it's perfect. It's within those title safe lines. So here, um, now I would go in and add my text. I'm going to say the only drawback with this lower third is the, the box is a little bit on the light side. It's gray, but a slightly darker gray would probably be better. Here, I think it's a judgment call whether you would put uh, black text or darker text on top of that or lighter text. Because of the lighter background, I, I think a darker text would be better. And it's good to bear in mind that the standard tends to be white on black. White on black is just so much easier to read and it stands out. So the lower third is there to add the text. Um, just go into uh, titles and again we're just going to add the basic lower text title and it's going to be on top of our lower third. So here I would just go in and match them up and adjust the length to, uh, to match. Now, So here obviously the text is not going to work where it is. Uh, so I would also have to go in and do some adjustments here. So the lower third, the text part is selected. Um, I'm going to go in and just uh, adjust the position slightly so that it lines up. So I'm adjusting the X and the Y and I'm just, I can do that by clicking and dragging, and you can drag up and down, or um, I can, you know, add a number in. Clicking and dragging works if you're kind of working with the, the mouse. So here I'm just custom adjusting the position of that lower third. Works well. Okay, now to do the text, I would just go into the uh, text um, editing option. So the white is actually not looking too bad on, on the gray, so I think I'm going to keep it. 
What I might do is um, add a little bit of a drop shadow to it. And I can go to show to see the, the different options. So I've just increased the distance maybe a little bit. Uh, the angle I think is fine. It might actually might just the lighting in the scene add a little bit of a blur. And yeah, that's that's fine. Now if I wanted to change the color though, I would go to face show and this would be where I would change it from white to black. I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to undo that. Now, uh, hide that. I'm going to hide that now to go in. I, and I could also change the uh, font here. So if I wanted it to be, I'm going to go for a nice fat font. So I'm going to go for Arial. And maybe uh, they don't have a demi bold, which is too bad because that would probably be what I I would use. Arial and Arial Black are slightly different. So if I wanted a super fat font, I would go with Arial Black. Here, if I just switch it to Arial, I also have the option of making it bold, and that's going to kind of make it make it work. So I can also adjust things like uh, the line spacing here. doesn't seem to actually be doing anything. So there it's on separate lines. Just uh, zero that out. Actually, uh, let's just reset that back to whatever the original was. Now uh, to adjust the text, of course, um, click on the text box and then enter in the name. And because there are two lines of text, I'm going to just put Dartmouth, Nova Scotia for location. So that's one and I misspelled Scotia, so fix that. So this is what I would do if I, I was having the two lines of text, so the name plus the locator. Uh, now here, I think the second line of text, I would actually like it to be a little bit smaller and maybe not bold. So here, this gives me something that uh, kind of works well. Top text block, again, that's 66. That might be a little bit too large. Maybe just go in and adjust it slightly. I'm just going to make it 62. OK, and that would be how you would do a lower third. So I'm going to go in and do the second graphic now. And if you remember, this one hasn't been put on a canvas. That is already the same frame size as the video clip. So um, again, here, I'm just going to select it, use uh, Q to add it to the timeline. And here you can see it's automatically coming into place in the middle of the frame. And it also seems a little bit large. So I'm going to, uh, number one, I'm going to scale it down a little bit. And that was my mistake. I scaled the X. I wanted to scale all. And I am going to adjust the Y position. So I'm going to bring it down here a little bit. Now, the graphic uh, could actually extend a little bit beyond the title safe area. So if I wanted, I could just kind of move it down over here a little bit. And that's, that's going to be fine. Um, maybe just tweak it a little bit, so bring it down a little bit more. Now, again, this is a lighter background, so the text that goes on it will have to be dark. And again, I'm going to recommend going with darker background colors and lighter text. So now that it's been positioned, it's exactly the same thing as last time. Just go back to the title area, and now there are an you can see there are actually some defaults already here. The basic is going to work just fine for us. So I'm going to go basic lower third. And again, I'm just going to drag and drop that. Change the length of either the text or the, the box to match how long I want it to be up for. And again, you have to keep a, a lower third up long enough for people to read it. So a couple of seconds, a few seconds is, is good. Um, so obviously this isn't going to work the way it is in terms of the position of the text. Uh, so it's the same as last time. 
make sure it's selected in the timeline. And then I'm just going to go back to the video option here. And I am going to shift that X position over and I'm going to shift the Y position up a little bit as well. So that's better in terms of its position on the lower third. Now again, um, I might need to go in and adjust things like the color. So face, show, and here you can see you can pick um, simple is better. This is all about readability. So I'm going to go for just a very basic uh, dark monochromatic text. Okay, so I have the name. Um, if I wanted to add anything else, I don't think a drop shadow would aid in any way here. A glow would just look pretty cheesy, but if you want to see what that looks like, um, we'll add, add a glow to it. And again, that in no way aids legibility. So this is fine. Uh, now, how you have to work will really depend on how you went in and did your lower third graphics to begin with.